Welcome to the Gas Chromatography Mass Spectrometry video, abbreviated as GCMS. The objective of this video is to describe the components and function of a GCMS. This is a GCMS composed of an auto sampler, a column oven and column, a mass spectrometer, a gas cylinder. Not shown is a computer that controls the GCMS and collects data. The auto sampler allows for fast sample introduction, as well as multiple injections done by the instrument itself. Here is the sample tray. Note that each position is numbered. Position numbers on the auto sampler allow us to tell the instrument when and what sample to inject. This is the injection needle. It is programmed to rinse the needle between sample injections. For how to do manual injection, check out this link. The auto sampler selects a vial and positions it under the injection needle. The auto sampler proceeds with washing stages before it injects the sample. The needle withdraws sample at set volumes for injection. The oven and column are the most important part of any GC. The insulated door must be closed when the GC is on. The oven keeps the column at the required temperature. Columns in GC are typically open tubular columns that have an inert gas as the mobile phase and a bound liquid as the stationary phase. The column stationary phase dictates selectivity. Temperature can also affect elution time. We can alter the time molecules take to elute by altering the temperature or creating a temperature program. Here is the sample inlet. This is where the sample is introduced to the column. Here is the sample outlet. This is where the sample moves from the column to the detector. The mobile phase runs from the start of the instrument through the column and to the detector. This instrument uses a mass spectrometer as a detector. The mass analyzer is a quadrupole. It consists of four rods that have alternating voltages applied to them. Only selected mass to charge values will have a stable path through the rods and then are counted based on their relative abundance. Here is an example of what the software looks like. This is what you would obtain from the GCMS. The top is a chromatogram showing relative abundance on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. A peak appears when a molecule elutes at a specific time from the column. The bottom is a spectrum showing relative abundance on the y-axis and mass to charge on the x-axis. This tells us the mass to charge is detected for any given peak.